So, like I said, there's been a lot of stuff. It's been a while since I made a video. I've picked up quite a few things. Um, a lot of this stuff I picked up more recently. And I'll just dig through all this stuff. Today at a flea market, I found a guy selling some game stuff. Um, then he had this box that I went up to, and I was like, are those all games? He's like, well, they're just boxes. I'm going to throw them out if you don't want them. So I got a lot of DS cases. Some of them are fully complete. Black Ops, Call of Duty Warfare, like some of the GameStop ones. Some of them look real crappy, like this Iron Man one. I got a Tarzan PlayStation 1 case. But I got some really, really good ones, like this Mario Kart DS one. But a whole box just full of PSP and DS cases. Um, there's maybe about eh, 12. So that was awesome. But what was even better is... Like, he had a bunch of, like, older consoles sitting around, and it was towards the end of the flea market, and I saw the Super Nintendo sitting there, and it looked like, you know, it's yellow and looked like crap. It didn't have any cords, and I was like, do you know if it works? He said, you know what? No, I don't. And he's like, and then he kind of realized that, you know, I don't know how much he's going to ask for it to begin with, and I was like, well, I don't know. He's just like, you know what? I could give it to you for, like, five bucks and then I was just like well you know maybe I can he's like actually I don't want to pack all this stuff up so you know what I'll give you the Super Nintendo two Nintendo 64's a Genesis and an Xbox for twenty dollars and I was like well shit that's five consoles I don't have a guarantee but it's only 20 bucks um, even if one of them's bound to work it's a deal so I told him yes and I was like hey we throw in hey you Pikachu also and he did so uh, it's pr pretty much the best game I have a lot of games he was selling that I could have taken he had some golden eyes they weren't in great condition um, I don't like golden eye that much plus I think I could maybe get rid of this game for more uh, he had Resident Evil 2 for N64 also, but the cart was in very, very poor condition. So I went with the cleaner one. I went with the Hey You Pikachu. But yeah, all that stuff I just showed you. The SNES, the two N64s, the Genesis, and the Xbox. No cords, no controllers, but $20 for five consoles. Uh, couldn't pass it up. Probably the coolest thing I've picked up um, in a while is this next lot of stuff. And the thing is, it's not even games. Uh, was at a flea market towards the South Carolina border a while back uh, and found these, which I was I'm very, very glad to find because they're very, very cool. Um, I'm going to say if you like comic books or into comic books and games, I think I'm going to put some of these up for an offer on a trade. So uh, a lot, some of them I want to keep, but a lot of them I don't mind getting rid of because I got such a good deal on them. So, the first one, uh, Spectacular Spider-Man with Doc Ock on it. It's got a, an advertisement for Dracula's Curse on the back, actually. That's pretty cool. Um, I do want to keep that one. Uh, I got Transformers. I do want to keep the Transformers ones, but I picked these up just because they're so obscure and weird, and I didn't really know these even existed. But um, a Chuck Norris... Karate Commando comic book. I think I got one, two or three in this whole lot. But um, I got a Howard the Duck number one in a limited series. Uh, I know there's some Howard the Duck collectors out there. So, again, if you want that one, make an offer. If you want Chuck Norris, make an offer. X-Men and the Micronauts. That's a number one also in a mini series. Four-issue limited series. Uh... Another Transformers, and another Transformer. All the Transformers one I'd like to keep. This one was so awesome, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. Dino Riders. It's pretty much some dude strapped guns to dinosaurs. Pretty fucking sick. Um, Transformers number two in a three issue series. Transformers the movie, the Sharkticon Strike. Uh, these are these are pretty old, and they're just they're just so awesome. Uh, Another number one in a four-issue series from Transformers. 
Um, and that, that one I'd like to keep, too. All the Transformers stuff, I think I'm going to give them to my brother because he's such a big Transformers fan. This is one that I think was pretty awesome that I think somebody might want. So if you do want it, uh, definitely let me know. It's a Swamp Thing, number 21, uh, DC comic. I will say you may, you probably can't tell. Um, if you're if you're a fan of Swamp Thing, it's an old comic. The guy at the the comic shop. I, I live like uh, really close to Memory Lane Comics. The, that store's full of great guys. Uh, took the stuff in there because I don't know a lot about comics. I read them. I pick them up when I can. I love superheroes, but I don't know a lot about collecting and everything. But um, took it in there, and he said this is one of the more obscure, awesome ones I got that's actually worth something. So this is not in great condition, but um, if anybody would want that, let me know uh, and everything. And Again, I'd like to get them in the hands of a fellow collector because it would be cool to get them in the hands of somebody who actually wants them. Um, but like I said, don't take my you know unknowingness of comic books and, you know, try to lowball me on anything because like I said I live literally a minute away from a shop where I can go in and ask the guys is this a good deal they live right down the road I've been there quite a few times so they know me and if you want the stuff I don't care but you know uh, I don't think anybody would rip me off anyway but that's just something like I got I got I got sources to tell me but um, this one I had to pick up just because it was real obscure. Peter Porker, The Spectacular Spider-Ham. That's awesome. Had to pick it up. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Um, favorite superhero is Spider-Man. Favorite villain is Venom. Anything having to do with a symbiote, um, Venom, Carnage, Toxin, you know, symbiote Spider-Man. Love that stuff. Uh, I got a Doctor Strange number one from, like, a uh, special edition from the 80s. That's really, really cool. Uh, again, if you kind of want that, go ahead and make me an offer. Uh, Plastic Man, number one in like a mini series, I think. Uh, really, really cool, obscure DC hero. Uh, this is probably the most valuable one I found, um, even though it's not that great. Uh, it's a Superman comic. It's missing the cover, but. It's very, it's really, really old. Uh, the guy at the comic book store told me if it would have been in pretty great condition, which he said the condition for this kind of comic, it's it's decent now. But if it would have had the cover, it would have been worth maybe sixty to a hundred dollars. Um, but since it doesn't have the cover, it's worth about four, so like four to ten. So if you're a Superman fan, I'm not a Superman fan. So if you're a Superman fan, let me know. See what I can do to get that to you. Um, another cool one, Captain America. Uh, caught in the clutches of the Dragon Man. That's awesome. Huge Cap fan, so it's great to pick that up. Here's another one of those Chuck Norris ones. It's pretty crazy. Uh, Marvel Excalibur X Men. Pretty freaking cool. Um, definitely, that one's really. I, I remember looking through this in the store, and I was just like, that's pretty sweet. Uh, another Doctor Strange number one. This one looks like it's from like earlier. Another 80s version. Um, an older Iron Man comic, the Teen Titans, an Aliens Earth War, uh, I was told this one's from like the late 80s. And then I found some really obscure stuff from Marvel that I, was fantastic to pick up again because it's from like 80s era, um, during the symbiote time of Spider-Man stuff, but... Cloak and Dagger in their own comic book series, which I thought was awesome. I got a Mephisto versus the Fantastic Four. I think this is a four-book miniseries, and that's the number one on it. And then um, Marvel Comics, Supervillain, Galactus, The Origin Story. Um, got that, too, which is pretty cool. So that was about it on that. And... I tell you, it was really cool finding these comic books. Um, I'd like to delve into the ones I really want. Um, like I said, give some of them away. If anybody saw anything that they just got to have, let me know. Because like I said, I'm not a comic collector. They're great to have. They're going to go in my collection and stuff. But if it's a really sought-after item, they 
that you would like, go ahead and let me know. Um, I'm really glad you guys are watching. Uh, hopefully, I got a lot of video content I'd like to get up in the next couple days. So keep it keep it locked because I really want to get going um, really close. You know, I got the capture card and stuff now. Um, hopefully, I'll get a little bit more variety into into my videos instead of talking about stuff that I've just bought. Um, I'd really like to get into more things. So again. Really, really appreciate you guys watching, um, and have a good one.